Let's talk about the neurological implications of training patients, especially return to play patients that are post-op ACL. So we're post-op ACL here. She went back for her return to play isokinetic testing, did really well compared to previous testing, but the involved side is still weaker than the uninvolved side, and the uninvolved side is also getting stronger, which we expect to happen. So the physician's um, recommendation was to stop all strength training on this side and only do single leg strength training on this side. Here's a better way to do this. She should be doing single leg strength training on both sides because we know if she only strength trained on this side and did nothing here, this side neurologically would still improve strength wise. So rather than doing a double leg squat, with her strength training at home and when we do strength training here, she's doing single leg squats, so there's no compensation by the uninvolved side to kick in and help out. So now we're targeting both sides, but we're still going to strength train both sides because as this gets stronger, it's also going to help this get stronger, although this side will continue to be a little bit behind here until we get about nine to 10 months out from being post-op.